All right, guys, we are 93 overall, and I'm going to be working on my vert. I have a 91 driving dunk, but I got to max out my vert so I can get those elite contact packages. So right now, I'm going to boost vert to 79. And Detroit has possession. Ah, man. Oh, Lennox, you should have cut right there. Okay, there we go. Start this game off, taking it coast to coast, all the way. To the inside, Nora. Nice D, nice D. Here's the Cobra, checked by Hill. Oh man, I got this dude, George Hill. I'm not even tripping off of that. Get this man, Giannis, in foul trouble. That's two fouls in the first. He just recently received a rookie of the month winner for each conference has been Oh, get that, get that, get that, get that. Yes! They're making mistakes. This is certainly deserved. Nice no pass. Perfect no pass. We would have had a nice little lead to kick this game off. But of course, that was horrible. They're forcing up shots on Hall of Fame. As long as I clamp up George Hill, they're going to be forced to use other players to shoot. That's too much. What? Horrible shot. Detroit shooting 33%. We got to make them pay, though. Duke University. You know about that place, Grant. Of course I do. Rodney Hood, win healthy. One of the more Got him stumbling. Got him stumbling. And one. Six point game. A really good secondary Very peculiar spot. He was terrific that time drawing the foul. That one's no good. And Detroit has possession. We got a four-point four. lead that we are holding on to. Here's the Cobra. Check by Hill. Come on, keep going. I'm throwing up lobs early in the game. Hey, you gotta earn those. Nothing easy. They want me on Allen, but look, it's going to George Hill. Allen, the Told you. To Hill. That's why I want to stay on George Here's Hill, because I can clamp him up. And since pass I know it it's going to pass it over here if you want to. I promise you that's a steal. To oh, I told the you! <laughs> you thought I was playing? Ah. Here's the I got to go back to blinders. I got all these shooting badges, but it means nothing if you're going to get the penalty. Give me that, boy! How can you not appreciate a snatch block? My new bill is going to primarily focus on defense, but just look at what we're doing now. Oh boy, that's in there, baby. Everybody's getting broke off. We're snapping ankles. We're getting Jinto Matumbos. Four, three, that's late. Had to bait him in. The Hall of Fame CPU is so predictable. I'm in there. Come on, too little. Got it. Actually, you know what a good badge is for finishing on my career? Mouse in the house. Doesn't make two cents for me to use it on the park because everybody's pretty much the same height as me or taller. But in my career mode, I'm what, 6'6"? Six, six? I'm guaranteed to get it to activate in multiple games. Ah, you couldn't cut? Let's try that again. Taking that all the way. We have a nice lead against the reigning champs. I feel like 2K might have nerfed the CPU. In college, well, let me stop for a second because in college we didn't have any badges. We didn't have any attributes, anything like that. People were complaining because I guess a lot of people got knocked out the tournament. But complaining before you max out your guy and then 2K actually thinks there's a problem with the CPU. No clue how they close the gap right there. It kind of hurts because once you actually get your badges and your attributes, you realize it was never the CPU. It was just you. He's got 16. That was a bad pass. 
I should have just went for the lob if I was going to get the turnover, to be honest with you. Pass to Nora. Nothing easy, Here's nothing Ojale. easy. Give me that! No way I didn't dunk. This is what I'm talking about. It's like they're, they're, they're forcing you to get the right stick dunks in. That should have 100% been a dunk. 100%. On the break, there's no reason I should have went for the layup. Nine. Get out of here, boy. Why did nobody get the rebound? I think I have gold hustler. But I thought one of them would get the rebound. Now it's a two-point game. Here's the Cobra. Check by Hill. The Cobra. Yeah, if I would have got blocked right there, my new thing would just be using right stick dunks. At least that way I could practice. I have gold posterizer, so I think posterizer gives you somewhat of a bigger window to finish your right stick dunks. I dare you. Alright, let me get Giannis. Here's Hill. Yeah, no way you were gonna let that man score on you. with some nice D. Five point game. Here's the Cobra. I need a moment. That's what I'm talking about. Right stick timing. Sit down. No way. Should I activate take right now so I don't lose it? You can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Here's the Cobra. Why not? I got takeover. They're saying I don't shoot enough. We're at 25. Five. Four. Three. Last one before I lose takeover. I need to boost my mid range. Because I'm passing up on a lot of mids. I don't have any mid. I got like a 58 mid range. Honestly, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have any mid range, but... The fact they leave me open. Bruh. Four turnovers. And most of them just. No way. You're not about to keep lob cheesing. Good defense. Rebound number four. Oh, and that's all me. Clear lane. How are you not going to take it all the way? Oh, no. Gotta boost my skills some more. I think it's like at a 60 or 70. I think like a 70, it goes up to maybe 80. So we got a lot more upgrading to do. Oh, look at this. He's wide open. I should have just popped it, right? Oh, no, 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 no. My pass accuracy needs to go up. Here's the Cobra. Check Come on. Damn. They can throw lobs all day on us, but when we throw lobs, they instantly give me that. Okay, why do Here's the Cobra. Check by Hill. I got to start using the right stick more. I'm getting greens. Finish that for me, Olenek. I can't get assists. I'm literally at one assist. Nice steal. All right, before you get carried away. That's all me, baby. Run the score up. Because you know what's going to happen. In the fourth, I'm going to sit on the bench. And you know somehow, some way, they're going to get like a 20-point lead. Kicks it out to Middleton. Just five on the clock. George Hill is ice cold right now. And that one's good. No clue how he got Middleton's that shot. Got four points in the quarter. Giannis is so in the bench the because he's in foul trouble. In this one tonight, shooting it well. Oh man, that was a nice hard screen, but he didn't go under the basket. I was gonna throw a lob up. Three. Two. Nothing easy. One more quarter. Here we go, boys. Wow. We're actually leaving this one with a dub. Sat on the bench the entire fourth. And we still managed to secure the dub. Slap that like button if you guys enjoy. 
subscribe if you're new to the channel and don't forget to turn on all notifications thanks for watching i don't know when we actually hit the starting lineup i think what is this game three or game four but we should definitely hit the starting lineup soon don't you think andrew i know you got something interesting for me what's up Looking at your schedule coming up, it looks like there will be some off days, chance to, you know, give your body a rest. But it got me thinking, what's your perfect off day, MP? I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but when I get a day off, I usually just spend it watching film, bro. Just because I'm resting my body doesn't mean I can't find something about my game I can improve on or something I can take advantage of in my opponents. I got to work to switch my brain away from basketball. But one thing like that, you know, I've been helping me with my very talented friend, Lil Metal. He's a rapper, bro, actually, and he's putting together a show at the Beatbox. A very slick bit of promotion there, MP. Hey, look, I'm just trying to spread the word on a show that's about to pop. Mm -hmm. You've been focused a lot on music lately, so are you worried that might open you up to criticism that you're not devoted to basketball? I'm not about to start worrying about what other people think. Bloggers, teammates, coaches, they all just jealous because there's nothing I can't do, bro. Look, come to Little Metal Show and you'll see how I created another superstar. All right. Well, thanks, MP. I hope the show goes well for you and Little Mel. Hey, yo, thank you, Andrew. Let's make sure you get your money's worth, Andrew. You got another one for me? I hear a lot of guys talk about how much of a grind the NBA season can be. Ooh, definitely. I mean, we hear a lot about load management and resting players' bodies, but I imagine it's a mental strain spending that much time on the road as well. Oh, it can be, yeah. So then how do you keep yourself sane on the road? Whether I'm home or on the road, I got to go out and I got to see the city, man. Try to get the taste of the, the local culture. It enriches my life to take in as much as possible when I'm in new places. Like, I just found out about this local streetwear designer who brought, like, low-rider car culture into his designs. It's super dope. His name is Carlos Carrillo. And this guy's in my backyard, bro. So I always need to explore because there's always something new to find, man. I feel like that term streetwear means different things depending on who's saying it. <laughs> I mean, you're a fashion guy. How would you define it? You know, it's not really something that could be well-defined because it's a, it's a bottom-up genre, not top-down, Andrew. And the main ethos is coming from the street culture, and it's more defined by what people are wearing, not what someone's telling them to wear. You feel me? You know, a designer like Carlos, he takes his cues from what he sees around him. That's, that's what excites me about that dude. Hmm, I can see why. Thanks, MP. Yeah, no problem, man. Nice to see everybody. What's up? You're playing some of the best basketball of your life, and the league has taken notice. What does this do for your career? Look, AT, it's an honor for sure, but I'm not worried about individual honors. What's more important to me is the team's success. Yeah, but you were singled out as the player of the month. That has to mean something. Yeah, it's, but it's really a team award because if we weren't winning games, no one would care how well I was playing. So I share this award with my teammates. You're modest to a fault. Look, man, that's how I was raised. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you, guys. Seeing as though the games are usually long, cutscenes are long, all that, but I mean, like... Let's take a look at this. Hall of Fame difficulty, 1.55. Do I need to show this at the end of every game, after the cutscenes, after everything? Some people say I play on Rookie, Pro, all this other stuff. I've been playing on Hall of Fame for years. Why would I all of a sudden start playing on a lower difficulty?